hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel the growing developer and first of all so sorry i was not able to upload any videos in the past week i got busy with some sort of unexpected work so here i am with the video and i'll be now uploading the videos at very short intervals so so this will be the third so this will be the third part of this video and we're gonna complete the drawer part and uh, let me just show you the ui once again so this is the ui part that we are gonna complete and uh, you can see that the draw is there but we don't have any rounded corners and next thing that you uh, wanted was to just tilt this drawer a bit to the y-axis so that it uh, feels like we are opening the drawer right so we'll keep we'll do both the stuffs in this video only and uh, let's complete the drawer the growing developer So first of all let's add some curve to this so we'll go to our home screen dot dart file and you can see that we have the animated container what i'm going to do is uh, i'll pass as box decoration right it has the decoration parameter all the parameters are exactly same as the normal container the difference is just this uh, duration i also explained it in the second part as well so as the box decoration it has the radius property so we'll pass border radius dot circular and the radius would be i guess 40 pixels okay and uh, this color property has to be shifted inside box decoration i explained to you many times that whenever you are using using the box decoration parameter box decoration property the color needs to be inside the box decoration and so let's save it and see what happens so you can see that we have some curved here we have some curved edges and if i press it back it goes back now this uh, screen is already having some curved uh, sub curved edges that's why we can't see the difference but if you are using any rectangular screens then you might feel or uh, you might see some curved here and the green portion coming out of that so what we're going to do is we had this uh, boolean property boolean variable which shows that if the drawer is open or clo closed so what we're going to do is that is drawer open so what we're going to do is we'll write if is drawer open if the drawer is open then only give it a radius of 40 pixels otherwise the radius should be only zero that means i don't want any kind of circular radius to it and uh, let's save it and you won't be able to see any difference because we i am already having a curved screen but yes you can see a considerable amount of difference in your square edges uh, rectangular edges screens so there you go and now let's move on to the drawer screen i guess so we have the drawer screen and one more thing in the configuration dot dot file i've created a map this is a list of map and inside this i have the icon and the title icon and the title respectively to this ui let me just show the ui once again so i have a map which is containing the icon for this and the title for this so it's kind of like this the icon would be whatever icon i use here and the text and for the icon see we have very limited set of icons in our flutter library so i'll be using font awesome icons so what you're going to do is go to your popsite.yaml file and as you can see that i have added font awesome flutter plugin so you add it and you will all and you'll get a whole bunch of new icons and customized icons and let me just repeat it once again that this ui is following a very customized icon approach and we don't have those customized icons because i have used this design i've picked up this i've picked up this design from dribble and i tried to be in contact with the designer but i couldn't so here it is so we'll use the bunch of icons that we already have let me just show you what kind of icons did i used for the adoption we have the font awesome icons uh, font awesome icons dot pop and for the donation i'm using a regular mail icon for the add pet option uh, i'll use the ui so that you are able to get it right okay so here it is so let's see 
this is the title adoption and the respective icon for it it is the font awesome icons dot pop for the donation i've used mail for the plus icon i've used the font awesome icons dot plus you can see that i've used only three icons from font awesome and rest all are from the normal icon library and this is repeating the donation icon and the messages icon why because i couldn't find any uh, icon related to this and rest is same actually so let's move on to it and see how we can embed it now in a draw screen i'll just open it so that you can see whatever i write so as a child to it i'll pass a column why i'm using a column because everything is vertically aligned and as a children let's understand the ui so you can see that this is as a whole a column then we have a row which is having two elements one as this circle avatar and second is this and next we have this is again another column right why i'll be using another column for this because we need some equal distances between them i'll show you how and then this is another row and everything is aligned in a column right so let's move on to the first part and we'll make uh, this part right so let me just arrange it like this and i'll just yes so as a children to it okay you tell me we'll use a row just watch the ui side by side and let's see and children as a children first one will be a circle avatar right circle avatar i'll not be defining anything in the circle avatar why because i'm just demonstrating how you can make it uh, it's your totally your wish how you want to style it and uh, next thing is a uh, text is it a normal text or we have to use a column for it see these two texts are aligned in a vertical fashion right so we'll use a column for this and inside the children as a column we'll pass two text fields first one would be the name of the user you can write any name i'll be writing the same name in the ui so it is lava savitskaya well this is the name of the designer itself actually so if you want any designer and you want to see the actual design you can always go dribble and search for the user or the designer and this one would be active status and we have to yes we have to style them so as a text style we'll pass the color as white color right and uh, the first one is a bit bold so the weight for this would be font weight dot bold right and you can see that the okay let's just complete it first and then i'll show you so i'm just gonna copy this style and paste it as it is right and I put a comma here that's it save it and if i just minimize it and you can see that we have the row here now there is some difference that it is going upward why because we haven't given any padding to it so as a padding property i'll give it a padding of only from top it would be i guess 70 pixels yeah and 50 would also do the work you're yeah, done now next thing is this uh, is uh, by default center aligned so we have to change it to start so what i'm going to do is as a cross axis alignment i'll pass cross axis alignment dot start and if you save it you can see that it is now more uh, aligned to the start axis and then we're gonna give some padding so size box with 10 pixels maybe and that's it done and that's good to go right so next thing is this uh, i'll first frame or make this column and then we'll move on to this so let's see after this row after this row once again we have to create another, another row i'll open the ui so that you can refer to the ui and uh, that's got better now as a children what it be icon we have icons dot dot settings and the color would be i guess white 
it's not exactly white uh, this white is having some kind of opacity with it we are going with white right now we can change it as we wish as a text it would be settings and again i'm going to copy this style from here and just paste it it's the same uh, style right so what's the error yes we have to write style parameter first and then okay now next thing is this line how to create this line we can create a container i'll tell you this is a container and for this container the width would be 2 and the height would be i guess 20 pixels and that's the hack i do for line it to making lines you could have used a single line and used a rotate box to make it more complex this is the simple way go with this right once you you know once you go on building the applications you find different different ways to tackle problems so that's one of my ways and next thing is a text widget inside this text i'll pass log out and same i'll copy the style and paste it inside this let's see the ui and see what happens so what i'm going to do I'll just save it and see what happens and you can see that we have the bottom bar now to add some bit of padding to it i'm using sized box you could uh, you can always use the padding widget as well so copy it and paste it after each widget and looks much better much cleaner you can always uh, play with the size of the text widget you can always increase it you can always decrease it i'm not going into that right so now in between both of them i have to create this part right for this part it will be again a column only so you can see the ui right now i'll use column now i want you all to focus here i'll be using dot map method of list to create children of it it would be like children i'll remove this i'll write drawer item if you are still wondering what is drawer item so in my configuration dot dot i have a list of maps right so drawer items dot map now inside this i'll write element now what does this mean dot map function dot map method acts as a transform for this what it will do is it will take each element of this uh, list it will take each element of this and this is okay tell me one thing every element of this list is of type map i want to transform this map into this basically i want to transform this map into a row having first icon and then the text right so dot map method does the same thing it will take each element element here is map and it will return a row out of it right a row out of it as children to this row first one will be an icon what is icon element icon this way i can get the icon right and the second thing would be a text this would be element and then the title right done next thing after this map function i have to convert everything into a list because this children widget uh, this children parameter takes up a list hope you are able to understand it i'll explain it once again drawer items take up the list of drawer items dot map map means take each element so in this i have uh, one by one i'll get each element each map take that element and return a row out of it and in this row i'll pass a children as children i'll pass the icon from where i mean i'm uh, for where from where i'm supposed to get the icon i have the icon details in the icon property and the title details in the title right so there we go now let's minimize it and save it and see what happens and you can see that we have the list ready for us we can change it a bit 
so the color would be white for the this for this part also i'm just gonna i'm too lazy to write everything so and paste it save it looks much better and the size would be 30 for us right and for this also i'll write the size as 20 maybe yeah looks much better and let's add some padding to them so we'll use sized box width of 10 pixels and that's it done right now next thing is uh, to add some spacing between them as you can see in the ui we have some kind of spacing between them and this column this row and this row all the three elements are equally aligned right so for that we'll go to our parent column and it has a main axis alignment property as space evenly main axis alignment dot space evenly this way i'll be able to space evenly between all the three elements save it and you can see that the elements are evenly spaced uh, wait a minute not space evenly it would be space between we want some space between them not evenly spaced right and now this setting is going downwards and so what we can do we'll add some padding to the bottom as well 70 pixels and looks much better right and if you want some padding from the left as well so for the left part i'll add 30 pixels padding looks better right now 20 pixels will also do the work and 10 pixels would also do right 10 pixels looks much better so this is the ui that we made we were able to add the what you can say that we were able to add the circular radius to it we were able to add the ui part see what i didn't do is that just add some padding to it okay i'll do it don't worry don't worry i'll do it so what you'll do is in this uh, row i'm gonna wrap it with some padding 8 pixels padding and there you go it's just simple i've just added some paddings so that's all that's all all you need is to add some padding to play with some sizes of the text here rest everything is actually safe and uh, what else do we need to do okay we need to add some tilt to it so that it looks like it is opened so go to your home screen and inside this inside the animated container part yeah here we will write we will write dot rotate y because we want to rotate it at a vertical axis so i'll write 0 0.7 maybe okay i'll just minimize it and show you the rotation there you go now, as you can see that this is rotated to its right side right clockwise so if i put minus here and you can see that it is now rotated anti-clockwise you can't see the difference because uh, it's the same as you see right so minus 2.5 yeah now you can see that the ui is a bit tilted it's like it is opening but we don't want the rotation when the drawer is closed we want the rotation only when the drawer is open so what we are going to do we'll write is drawer open if the drawer is open then only rotated by 0 0.5 uh, radians otherwise the rotation should be zero save it and you can see that now it is not rotated but once you do it it is rotated you can't see the rotation i guess but that's all right and you can play with the rotations here you can play with any kind of radius uh, border radius here as well in the drawer selection drawer section uh, drawer screen you can play with the sizes of different texts and i guess i will wrap up for this video so this is the th so this will be the last part of this series i'll be moving on to some basic flutter stuff first and uh, because many of you requested for uh, flutter concepts first and then go on to the ui so we'll first uh, learn about the concepts as we always do and then we'll implement it and the next upcoming features of flutter flutter 1.17 is now announced and a very i'm very excited to play with a new widget i'll upload a video tomorrow that is day after this video is uploaded and that video i'm gonna show you the newest the latest of widget that flutter just released 
stay tuned to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and keep learning keep growing with me keep and uh, that's it for the video thank you so much for watching this video hope you learned something from this video hope you like this video please share the videos with your friends too and thank you so much for watching goodbye